And we're back on this episode of Hero Clans Talk About Stuff. This is Hero Clans Talk About Insanity in Movies. Yeah. Basically, um, yes, I have Anakin. We use the dark side here. Because, basically, yeah, at least he had an excuse for, basically, you know, being insane. The issue with insanity in movies is that it's, unfortunately, a very, to me, a cheap way of doing things doing crazy thing, horrible things it, it, it's it's definitely you know can be can be used like that it's, i don't i don't really have really never really seen a good version of insanity at all because that's not there's, there's nothing good about it really <clears throat> no it just isn't i'm sorry uh but you know in, in real life you know but in movies it, yeah, definitely it's it's just definitely one of those things that's more about just getting characters to do stuff because you want them to. Uh, and again, at least had the excuse of the dark side. He basically opened himself up. He basically opened himself up to the dark side of the force, which basically continually pumps you know, evil into him. <clears throat> makes his eyes turn yellow. It makes him kill, kill, do things he would never normally do. You know, it's still not cool because it's like this is horrible. You know, and basically. You, it's still confusing to people because it's like, you know, basically, you know, the, you know, if you look at it as a normal person talking to an other, another, talking to somebody who's supposedly, you know, being controlled by the dark side, then that's bad, you know, of the force, then that's like horrible, because then it basically makes no sense, because they're like, what, what, you, normal person would do this, what, what are you doing, what's wrong with you, you know, but still, it's like, yeah, at least he has that sort of excuse, still not cool. You know, I would like something way better than at the end of the movie because it's like really kind of cheap to just get him into the Darth Vader outfit and mess everything up. You know, but still, no. At least he had that. At least he had that. Now, there are there are other people who um, were not as good. Well, Gollum was okay again. Gollum had the ring. The ring was again dark side, like a fountain of evil, basically you know poisoning him. You know, kind of like Anakin, and you know that caused him to basically be like, you know, think or do things horrible things he would never do. Well, more horrible things he would never do. He would never do. It's the way that way. You know that. But then there's ones that people. There are characters that where it's like they didn't have to go insane to uh, you know for a thing, and it would have been way better if they didn't. My most, my biggest one would have to be the bit. One of my biggest one, the one that caused. Uh, huge problems, especially in the Marvel universe. Marvel movie universe would have to have been X Men: Last Stand. Mm, okay, Jean Grey, mm. Dark Phoenix did go insane. Mm, it was insane in the comic books, but you didn't have to play it that way in movies. I mean, there were like all kinds of reasons why messing around with that was not a good idea. Because basically, it was like okay, you know, basically it's like okay, she's going insane. She's a monster now. We have to kill her. Mm, that's basically the way, it, the way it went. Mm, that's basically the way it went. Mm, you know, and it's that was annoying because basically it would be so much better if it had been like okay, instead of her going crazy, it would have been better if she was like, uh, you know, I, I, professor, you know, I, I you know, like, how could you do this, to me, professor? I mean, I have all this power, and but you, you, you block, stop me from using it. You know? You you deceived me, Professor. You, I have all this power. You stopped me from using it. And he's like, well, you know, and then he'd be like, oh, the best. Of both. It was a uh, lesser two evils. Even if I didn't stop you from using the power, you using your crazy your power to cause all kinds of problems. You know, you could you could mess every, all kinds of stuff up. It'd be bad. You know, and that's true. But you know, it'd be like, yeah, you, but then it would have been more of a trust thing instead of a I'm a monster now thing. You know, Jean would have been like, okay, you know, I, I can't trust you, anymore, Professor. I'm out of here. So then she leave, hang out with Magneto and friends. Throw things around. I don't know about blowing out the professor, but you know, knocking the professor around a bit, that would be something. You know, Cause it's like stay for me. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, not blowing him up, but you know, knocking him around. You know, and there were things. You know, it definitely causing all kinds of problems for everybody, especially when they finally got to the, the climax. Then Wolverine may not kill. You know, then Wolverine may not have had to kill her. You know. See, it would have been better if she had not died. It would have been better if she had been, like, maybe, you know, he, like, had to stop, stay, you know, maybe hurt, you know, stab her a little bit, like, in the leg or something, so then she would uh, be weakened enough so that she would stop messing around and throwing, you know, killing people you know, or throwing people around, let's say. You know, then that would have been still horrible because it's like I had to stab the girl I love, 
you know, and, and stuff. I had to actually fight her. You know, that's horrible. You know, instead of oh, I, I freaking oh, I totally killed her. You know, and it, what, what? <laughs> you know, I didn't like that. Mm, I didn't like that at all. And of course, he was like, "Yeah, she's a monster. You have to kill her." No, <laughs> why? Why can't she be a deep, turbulent character who finally realizes that she has a lot of power? Also, that the people that she trusted, she can't trust no more anymore. Why, why not? Mm. You know, that was weird. Mm, that was weird. And then it was like, okay, the whole the build up from X Men, yeah, X Men uh, United, or well, X Men Two, X Men United, and all, is just basically you know destroyed because the girl would survive, but it's like, yeah, we don't want her to survive. She's, she's a monster now. <laughs> that was terrible. Mm. And then it gets even worse with uh, the movie, in my opinion, uh, caused a bit of issues for a pretty good DC character if she was done right. Catwoman. Mm -hmm. Okay, Halle Berry Catwoman. Yes, I, I'm counting her as someone who they said was insane. They made, went insane, basically. Mainly because it's like this. Halle Berry's Catwoman uh, was like, had two personalities. Mm -hmm. All right. Basically, you know, which basically, in my opinion, ruined the movie in a lot of ways. Because it's like, yeah, Holly Berry has a mousy, you know, fashion designer person who gets, who they, they, they finds out there's a crazy evil plot going on, but then it's kill, thrown down a sewer, into a sewer or whatever in an attempt to kill her so that they, she won't tell anybody about it. Then they find out, then she's like, oh, the like, be saved by these cat, this cartoon cats, and, and they, they they blow they blow on her, and and she gets magical powers, and it's like okay, mm, that that's that's an interesting way to do it, but then it's like yeah okay now I have silly cat I do silly cat things, you know on instincts I'm like okay that's that's weird, but you know at least you have the ability to, you know jump around and be flip around and be awesome, you know <laughs> you know then it's like uh, that would have been fine. But unfortunately, they decided to just go like, okay, instead of just being like, yeah, I'm flipping around being awesome, you know, as me, I used to be so weak and powerless, but now I have awesome powers, and I can be, you know, confidence, yes, I can learn, and become a hero, and that, it's, uh, yeah, I'm a different person, what the, I'm a different person, really, why? Why was that even necessary? Why, why did you have to mess around? Because now it's like the whole, you know, arc is ruined because it's like, uh, you know, she doesn't, does she learn anything? Does she become stronger? You know, more confident? Uh, not, not really, because she's, you know, switches to a different personality and that doesn't even know her love interest. <laughs> really? She doesn't know her own love interest? That, that doesn't make any sense at all. It, it, it was terrible. That to me was the worst thing. Also, well, the CG was not the best ever, no. But still, the worst thing about the whole movie was that she basically was like insane. <clears throat> she did, couldn't, and it was just, you know, not good. <clears throat> what, what, what? Okay, the outfit was not the best either, but still, it was just, come on, guys. You know, you can do it with that. That's why I don't, I'm a fan of, of how you said it. And of course, Hannibal Lecter, in my opinion, at least in movies. Mm, I don't know about in real life. Mm, you no, know, to help people. Uh, but mm, in the movies, mm, okay, by Anthony, 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 Hopkins, Anthony Hopkins, I didn't see the movies, but I've seen a little bit of them. And basically, there was one part where he's like, oh, you know, gets free and then beats the heck out of this one guard, mm, you know, with his nightstick. Uh, yeah. He wasn't necessarily insane. I'd say he wanted to do this. He's like, I'm free. I can kill you now. <laughs> Yay. You know, like, basically, it was like, I, I, you know, more of a, I'm, I'm escaping. I'm, I'm waiting. You know, I am free. I'm able to, you know, work, do stuff again. You know, <laughs> it's revenge for what <laughs> you did to me. You guards, you, you know, it's more of a, that kind of stuff. More, less about insanity, more about the choice, choices he made and you know, the repercussions of those choices, things like that, it, it, it's definitely different than just a uh, mindless monster, <clears throat> which is basically happens in a lot of movies when characters go insane. I don't like that at all. I'm never going to try not to have that in my stories at all. Just, you know. uh, check me out on YouTube and DeviantArt, especially Aaron Newtonium in a Simple Job. Yeah, the new page is coming. <laughs> um, and, uh, at least until the story ends, then I'll be working on other stuff. Anyway, uh, and on YouTube, 
lots of cool other stuff. Mugen stuff. Final Fantasy Ten will be coming back eventually. Thankfully, I have a day off coming up <clears throat> Sunday, December. Uh, no, it's not December. <clears throat> February eighth, I believe. My day off. We're hopefully, we'll be able to get some stuff done. Sunday usually is more of a day off than others. The other days now, you know, we get into special college and work, well, work in college. So, it'll be cool. And we'll then, you know, figure something out. So, see you next time.